Hello and welcome to Cold Rhetoric with Tam Talk. I am your host, Tamara Abraham, also known as Tam Talk behind the microphone. So, I'm back. How long? Not sure, but I'm here now. So, in the words of Tevin Campbell, Can we talk for a minute? Yes, can we talk for a minute? So, um, what I want to talk about there, because there's so many things I could discuss, but I really want to talk about this particular topic. Um, and for those of you who follow me on the social platforms, um, primarily LinkedIn or possibly Facebook, I shared, um, a post, um, a transparency post in regards to how I feel, that LinkedIn triggers my imposter syndrome. Yeah. Um, and the reason why I posted that, I don't know if it has to do with like the metaverse or the updates or the changes or how so- the social platforms are evolving. But I do notice when I go on to link- LinkedIn, it's like everybody is like so heavily sedated with coding credentials or they are um, on the C-suite track. And so, and don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being on either track, because I'm on a track, um, just not the coding credential track. But my concern is um, that many of us are um, receiving these credentials, but we're not utilizing these credentials. Let me repeat that. We are securing the credentials, but we're not putting the credentials to use. And so my concern is, one, I'm, I'm curious as to, I guess, and probably none of my business, but I'm going to ask anyway, why are we securing all of these credentials? I know that the AAPC had a major sale not too long ago, so could that be it? Um, I mean, that possibly could be it. You know, that was a steal. I did see that. And so, um, but again, there are some who are heavily credential um if i were to look at your resume and i'm just you know hypothetically speaking if i were to look at your resume does your credentials or does your resume um correlate with your credentials yes or no again it's none of my business but i'm speaking hypothetically about um this particular scenario and the reason why I almost say it's not, it's not a big deal, but it's a big deal. It's not, you know, whatever. And the reason why I think I'm speaking on it is because I've worked in various capacities um, throughout the coding health information industry, and I didn't hold any of the credentials that a lot of you are holding. Again, this is me. I'm not you. And what you're... Um, doing or you're trying to pursue again that's none of my business is maybe totally different from where i am and uh, you know my journey in coding and that is perfectly fine um again like i said i've been in various capacities um from leadership on down or from up from down on up and i did not have those credentials um now i will say there there in, in some of those capacities the especially credentials weren't available but I'm I'm aging myself by saying that some of those credentials weren't available and however even after that I still was able to secure um roles um in particular like in in uh, specific specialties uh in leadership had absolutely nothing to do with my credential now my experience may have played a major role in that so I will give credit to that my experience has played a major role in that Okay, so some may say, well, I got my credentials. You never know where I'll end up later in life. And this is true. This is true. So what other steps are you taking to get in track or get on that track? Because I see that some of you have credentials in many, many specialties. Why not just work for a multi-specialty facility versus getting all the credentials in the different specialties? You know, so do you see yourself working... 
Let me. I'm just throwing this out. For example, do you see yourself working in anesthesia? Do you see yourself working in OBGYN? Do you see yourself working um, in interventional radiology? Do you see yourself being a compliance officer? Do you see yourself um, doing all of these credentials or working in the capacity in which you're holding these credentials? If not, stop accruing credentials for the sake of um, it because it looks good on paper. It, it looks good on LinkedIn. It looks good on your business card. All of that. Um, don't do it for that. Here's the thing. You are important. Whether you have a credential behind your name or not, you are an important person. You are a VIP. Okay. And I'm speaking from experience and um, because I'm all for about uh, transitioning, evolving, growing. But we want to make sure that we're evolving, growing and transitioning on the right path. Right. We don't want to just be out there grabbing stuff because, you know, it's being offered to us. Uh, And I mean, this can apply to anything in any area of life that we don't want to just be out there just grabbing a hold of stuff because people are feeding it to us. Um, I'm even going to go on the record and say um you're 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 putting money in these big organizations pockets by securing all of these credentials i said it i said it you think you're helping yourself but you're actually helping the organizations the bigger corporations that won't hire you right so they they're still getting your money because they understand that um, you feel insecure about your career path, right? So then they offer you these various credentials, and, and we'll talk about that later. Um, but um, they offer you various credentials because they know that you want to feel secure in your career. And you want to feel secure when others are looking at your resume or they see your your page online or what have you that, you know, you want to come across like you're um, an authoritative figure, you know, that you're knowledgeable in coding or whatever career path you may be in. You want to you want to come up, come up, come across like, you know, you know, your stuff and that's fine. But and again, it is a marketing strategy to get more of your money. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't get credential you shouldn't because you have to pay look i'm a coding coach i'm a coding instructor yes you yeah if i teach you yeah yeah you you have to pay me (laughs) yes for my knowledge right um and then like i said i'm on a journey of securing another i guess credential or educational level and i know i went in knowing that that's what I, I already knew, you know, you hear the, 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 um, comments or statements, or you see the post where people said college is a fraud, the big scam. Oh, <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, but I have to go to college to get the knowledge that I want to do the career that I want to do. Like, I know where I want to go in my career, in my career, in my journey. So I have to do the work. I have to learn. Um, I have to pay the people to teach me what I need to know in order to do that particular career path. But I'm not going to deviate and start doing other things if it's not in line with what I'm trying to do. And what I mean by deviating, I mean like paying for things, things um, that's not in line or in track on what I'm trying to do. So it is, again, you, before you start, Before you get your next credential, before you get your next credential, before you even enroll in college, understand and know what it is that you are trying to obtain, what your goals are, and so forth. Um, Are you currently working in that area? Um, If so, and um, you want to evolve or you want to grow in that area, by all means, yes, go for the credential, go for the course, what have you. But if you don't know, or you just getting it because again, buy one, buy one, get the second one for free. Um, you have, you're wasting your money because here's the thing, uh, for coding credentials, your certifications, you have to maintain CEUs, right? Um, 
either way you're going to pay. So not only are you paying to sit for the exam, the certification, but then you're going to have to pay, right, um, to get um, continued education credits um, to maintain the certification, right? And 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 your memberships and all that, yeah, you hear, you hear the ka-ching, 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 that's money that that, that same organization or corporation is getting, excuse me, getting from you. And so, um, and I know, yeah, whatever, what I'm pursuing, yes, they are getting money from me. They are getting money from me, but I'm also getting the knowledge and the skills to when I'm finished with this program or this course or what have you, I'm, I already know how I'm going to make my money back, right? I already know how I'm going to make the money back. Um, so the same should be with your coding certifications. What are your plans? What are your goals for pursuing? Uh, for, what are you, pretty much what are you going to do with the certification? Don't just get it because they offered it up for you for free. You should have a game plan in mind. Like what are, what am I going to do with it? Um, and a lot of it, honestly, a uh, truth be told, is that it's really our own insecurity. We, we don't feel that we're competent, competent as well as confident enough to perform a, a particular role or a task in any industry, not just coding in any industry. So we try to, you know, get again, we try to secure all this, um, these um, accomplishments or what have you, because we want to be seen. We don't feel seen. We don't feel important. And again, you are important. You are important. If no one else tells you, you are important. Tam Talk believes that you are an important person. Whether you get the accolades, whether you get the tags, whether you get the shares, whether you get invited to do, to ex- to show off your expertise, you are still important. I know everybody wants want to be at the top and yeah. And the culture and society has trained us to want to win and to be at the top of our game. Um, but what about the people who are at the bottom? Like, for example, you want to lead, but who are you leading? You can't lead if everybody's at the top. Somebody has to be like the follower. Look, I don't have a problem being a follower. I'd be a leader in the following group. You know, it's not a big thing. I can lead from the side. I can lead from the back. I can lead from the front. Inside, outside, it doesn't matter. I'm, you know, hey, I just know I'm a natural born leader. So I don't care where you put me. I'm going to lead. Okay. I am going to lead. So, um, that's the mindset that you have to have. You have to have that. And for those of you who are already credentialed, like if you're a coder, certified coder and a recruiter or an employer ask if you can code, um, if you pass your certification test, and I said, if you pass your certification test, um, you can honestly, you can code. You just have to do the, you know, maybe you have to do like a refresher to, to learn that particular, um, area of code, body, body of coding, or you can take one of my coding camps where I give you a quick introduction into a particular specialty so that when you go in, you won't be going in there blindly. You have, you'd be armed with some knowledge to, to at least start you off, right? To start you off in a particular specialty. Yes. And I'll drop a link in the, um, description box. So if you want to, you know, check out one of these, um, Coding camps, you can. They're online, self-paced. Thirty nine ninety nine. Yes, the, look, you can still live um, after you pay for it. So yeah, um, but yeah, again. So before you go into your next certification or trying to pursue your next certification, just really think about what it is that you want to do with it. And if you don't, just understand like, hey, you are important where you are. You know, make moves where you are, grow where you are. You don't have to, again, a lot of, a lot of these credentials and letters and things are because it's based on our fear or, or our insecurity of ourselves. We don't have belief or faith in ourselves to know that we are good. Look at here. You passed the certification test. (laughs) You already winning. You are already winning. If you're working in coding, 
you are a winner. Okay? Um, cause there are some, there's many who are certified who don't work in, in the coding industry. They can't get a job, you know? And I always say those are the entrepreneurs, you know, they're going to create their own lane. But for those of you who are working in, uh, um, in a coding capacity, you are a winner because there, again, there are many who are trying to get into the arena and they can't get into it. So, yeah, so you don't need, you know, all the accolades, all the acronyms, all the letters and all that to deem yourself an authoritative resource or a person of um, importance. Because, again, you are already important. You're still breathing. You're here. You are important. And lastly, I'll say you are important. So that's all I have for this episode of Code Rhetoric with Tam Talk. Um, again, I, I'm going to try to be a little bit more consistent, um, with the podcast episodes, but this one, I definitely wanted to share with you and, you know, just kind of share my thoughts, um, and what I'm seeing, the trends that I'm seeing in this industry as it relates to coding. So if you have any suggestions or any other topics that you would like to hear, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, again, I'll, um, add my contact information in the description box. And yeah, go from there. So until next time, y'all be great. And as always, remember, you are important. Toodles.